Okay, so it was about three Christmases ago and we were having a drama presentation at church, Feltab Portmore. Right now we were having only one service and um, it was being held on the outside to accommodate both congregations because we normally have two services on a Sunday. But because it was Christmas, we were having only one. And um, Sylvia was our narrator for the drama presentation. And so, you know, we were, we were all outside setting up for everything. A market scene was also a part of the whole drama setting. So while setting up, I only heard Sylvia say, Sarvel is here and I'm allergic to Sarvel. I was like, what? I'm not seeing any Sarvel though. And she insisted, yes, Sarvel is here and I cannot be where Sarvel is. Then she just started breaking out, swelling and breaking out. I panicked. I was like, oh my God, this is crazy. What is happening here? I looked around and in the distance, sure enough, there was a bag with Sarvel. Notice I said in the distance. The Sarvel never touched Sylvia and worse still, it wasn't even near her. I mean, I never, I've never ever seen anything quite like this. So we had to quickly get her out of the area and literally hide her in the sanctuary away from the Sarvel. I mean, it, this was just crazy. Thankfully, we were able to set up for the narration to take place behind the scenes in the sanctuary where Sylvia was nicely tucked away and you know thank god she was safe and you know we're able to go on with the play and the play was a success but it was it was frightening for me it was scary because like i said i've never ever experienced anything quite like this good morning i have the most wonderful testimony of a miraculous healing in my life and how God has just shown up to just show himself great and loving and caring. For years, I suffered with an allergy to hibiscus flowers, raw okra, and specifically a very violent allergy to sorrel. Sometime over the course of the years, I had stopped having experience in this allergy to to um to hibiscus flowers and okra it just disappeared i don't know if i prayed and it went but it suddenly i could be around hibiscus flowers and it didn't bother me and i could touch raw okra and it wouldn't bother me but let me tell you about the sorrel allergy it was so bad that if i took a sip of sorrel a sip even if it was just part of a drink not it just had to be in the drink I would break out in a rush my tongue would get heavy and I would have to reach for Benadryl or DPH whatever antihistamine I could get my hand on it was so bad that I could tell when sorrel was in the vicinity of where I am because if I was downwind from the from the fruit itself whether on the plant or or if it was shelled out in a marketplace, I would just start breaking out in hives. Uh, people would look at me and say, um, what, what's wrong with your face? Why is your face swelling up like that? And I remember once I was downtown and I, I was going to take a taxi and I, I started to break out in a rush, only to realize that inside the back of the taxi was loaded with sorrel, so I had to come out. That was not an easy day because the whole street was lined with sorrel and I was just having the most horrible time. I had to charter a taxi to get out of downtown. I am part of a group called Healing Rooms and we minister healing by the word, by laying on of hands. And we met last Saturday, today is July 7th I believe, but we met on Saturday to minister to some people. They were sharing sorrel drink as a part of the refreshments and I covered mine and I said to Dr. Arlene, no, mm -mm, that one's not gonna work for me. And she said, okay, all right, well, you can have water. But Naz, who, <clears throat> who is one of the ministers said, you know, I prayed for somebody who had a severe allergy this week. Why don't we just pray for you? So I said, okay. And I stood up there and I still held on to my cup, covering my cup. 
and they all came and they laid hands and they prayed and they, they really addressed digestive issues and allergic reactions and all of that and then dr arlene said i sense that the holy spirit is saying this is tied to some childhood memory and i said it's funny you should say that you know because i remember when i was little we were lived on a big property and we were upstairs shelling sorrel and we were planning to go down there's uh three girls and a boy we were planning to go down to the big tank to bathe because we said we couldn't bother to lug no bucket of water up the hill so we decided we were just going to bathe at the tank it was sheltered enough so and at the bottom of the hill there was a big 40,000 gallon water tank a concrete tank and <clears throat> my mother had commercial chicken houses I think they were like maybe 8,000 each or something like that and she just had a crop of chicken that came in for her to raise and we got delayed going down I don't remember what delayed us but we were delayed going down and we heard a rumbling sound and when we looked the 40,000 40, gallon concrete tank crumbled and all that water went straight into the cubs, drowned off all the chickens um, I remember I was very traumatized by it because I said wow if we were down there we would have died all of us or at least seriously injured and that was when I noticed the welts on my hand and I just associated it with an allergy to sorrel I just said oh it looks like I'm allergic to sorrel when Dr. Arlene and the others prayed for me there were six of them plus me um, I just started to feel very comfortable in my body. I just, the, all the anxiety and the, I guess facing the fear, because I didn't, I never really faced it, enabled me to make some peace with the whole traumatic event. And then I just said, okay, give me some sort to drink. <laughs> well, the silence in the room was very, very um, tangible. <laughs> And I said, and you know, in my mind, I was hearing, why not just wait a bit and, and then just gradually test it out, you know, when you can have antihistamine and whatever. And I said, what the heck? Arlene is a doctor. And if I'm going to believe in God for miraculous healing for others, I have to believe it for myself. So I said, give me some. And they had a seven ounce cup in my hand and they gave me about a quarter cup. And I took a sip and we waited <laughs> and nothing happened. Now, I'm telling you, it was so bad that just taking a sip would cause me, my tongue to just get heavy and my throat would start to lock up. I mean, it was really terrible, but nothing happened. So I took another sip and another and I went and ministered and I was so elated with all the other miracles that happened. I just decided... Well, Sarl is what is here to drink. I'm thirsty. I ended up drinking four cups that night. No, <laughs> I'm telling you, this allergy was so terrible that my neighbors won't plant sorrel around me. My, I remember when I came to live with my husband before we got married, his daughter planted sorrel. I said, okay, I'm going to have to go home until she don't reap it. And he said, no, and I can't make sick of sorry make you go home and he uprooted everything and carried over to another neighbor my neighbor realized also that his hibiscus plant was causing me to really cough terribly every time during pollen season i could not go near the flower i couldn't go in the vicinity of the flower and he just said he just he just cut it down they just rooted it up and i've not seen them grow it back and it's such a freedom because I really, really love the hibiscus family. I really love the hibiscus flowers. So, being able to touch okra, eat it, eat it raw if I want to. Now I can drink sorrel, which I really did like. Um, God is just so awesome. This is a freedom for me in ways I cannot even explain you know, I love to buy fresh produce, but because of this allergy, I, I just refuse to go to the market. Though I can go to the market and I can 
pick up what I want and I can stand next to Sorrel and it, it won't bother me because God has healed me. So to God be the glory. And I thank Arlene and the team for persevering and um, helping me through this. And, you know, I'm just expecting God to do more and more miraculous things in my life and in the lives of the people that I, whose lives I touch. Hi, I've known Sylvia for quite some time and she had how she has some serious, had some serious allergic reaction to sorrel. She could not be in the same room or even pass by when it's in full bloom without developing rashes and having itchings. To even be in a plate, in a space where it was, caused the same reaction. Meaning if they had sorrel there but it finished and she came on the scene, same reaction. Rashes and, and, and itchings. So this testimony of her being healed is a big hallelujah moment with this healing. Hallelujah moment. Can you hear me? It's a big hallelujah moment for Sylvia. And I rejoice with her.